This Central Phoenix Bake Shop is a bit of an urban legend. We're actually a pretty different bakery. Sugar, butter, chocolate, check, check, and check. We're not as sweet as a lot of other people. Sure looks like they're mixing in some pretty sweet ingredients. What our customers actually say kind of sets us apart is that when you come and you enjoy our treats, it doesn't taste like a sugar bomb. So you don't feel like you're rushing to the dentist because you have a cavity. You actually taste all the flavors instead of just the sugar. Sean and Brady Breeze opened Urban Cookies Bake Shop in 2005. Just by the name, you can tell they're a little hipper than an old-fashioned bakery. Everything is from scratch, everything is by hand. There's nothing artificial, no artificial ingredients or preservatives. That really actually sets us apart. It might sound surprising, but baking the way you bake at home is not that common in the baking industry. So everything that we make is just the way you would make it at home, only on a larger scale. While Brady may be the lead baker, it was actually Sean who came up with the original urban cookie. I actually took the Toll House recipe and made my own with dark chocolate, walnuts, coconut, oats, and baked it. And then when we decided to start a business, we actually started with that cookie. We called it the Urban Cookie. But of course, these days, Brady's gotten a hold of it and it's a whole new cookie. But it still has all the wonderful things that it had in the beginning. So we still use European style butter that has a really high butter fat content. We use dark chocolate instead of milk chocolate. And it's really one of our customers' favorites. Like many of the items on their menu, they now make a gluten-free and a vegan option. We were shocked at how many of our customers wanted vegan and plant-based pastries, um, and that trend is just continuing. We have always listened to our customers from day one, and it's always just been the one thing that helps us direct and steer our business, and honestly, it's the number one reason we're still successful. Sean says they will continue to add more of what their customers want, but they will always have their originals. So our best-selling cupcake is our brown velvet. And of course, it's been urbanized, right? So it doesn't have red velvet. It's not red, it's brown. It's made the traditional way of a red velvet. So we use sour cream, but it's a really rich chocolate cake with tangy cream cheese frosting. Um, and customers love it. We've had it for 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite is our carrot cake. I love all the stuff. I love the nuts, the walnuts, and the carrots. And again, you can't beat our cream cheese frosting. In fact, customers love our cream cheese frosting so much that we've actually whipped it into almost every single one of our buttercreams. It's just really good. My favorite. And it should be of no surprise that Urban Cookies Bake Shop won the Food Network's Cupcake Wars. That was a really fun thing to be a part of. And that show literally changed the trajectory of our entire business. And it's the reason why, even though we're Urban Cookies, we're most known for cupcakes nowadays. But the winning cupcakes, we bring them out every August. We had a grilled cheese and tomato soup, which was kind of the most interesting flavor. We have a rose water one that we did. We have a triple berry shortcake. And then we had a campfire cupcake. Customers look forward to that every year. Their sweet success is also part of their commitment to social responsibility. When Brady and I started this business, we knew from the very, very beginning that it was going to be a people business. And so every single thing that we do, we sort of weave in responsibility to all of it. We treat our team members like family. We treat our customers like gold. We treat our community like we owe them something. All through the pandemic, we really focused on the food pantries. So we're always weaving in, you know, how can we be responsible about our business all the way down to uh, being green. So we're always looking for ways, how can we use less? How can we recycle more? How can we use greener products? Putting community over profits. That's the icing on the cake.